graduation exercises of the class of 2021. It's a great night for a graduation and it's great to see people in person. Please stand for the, profession, for the processional while our, while our seniors enter the field area and remain standing during the Pledge of Allegiance.
Thank you to Dr. Tomasian and our brass choir for the rendition of Pomp and Circumstance. And I will now ask Jasmine Gia and Santino Allentuck to come to the stage and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And following this, our brass choir will perform the national anthem. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Jasmine, and thank you, Santino. Seniors, please remain standing. All other guests, please be seated. I will now ask Lily Tracy and Jonah Baresi, members of the junior class who have been selected by the seniors, to please seat the class of 2021. Thank you, Lily and Jonah. Before we begin, I want to ask for your help in making sure that we maintain distancing from those not in our family group. I also want to let you know that if you need a restroom at any time during the evening, the concession restrooms are open. And additionally, we have two portable bathrooms also. They're locating, located at the far end of the field. Lastly, if anyone should require medical attention, please have a member of your group raise your hand and we will be quick to assist. Good evening and welcome to our LHS families and guests, all of our school committee members, and I want to acknowledge the ones who are present tonight, Chairperson Ryan Kelly, Kevin Shea, Bronwyn Monaghan, Susie Bell, and Gianna Allentuck, Superintendent Shea, Superintendent O'Shea, town officials, and mostly to our graduates from the class of 2021. It is my honor to welcome you to these graduation ceremonies. I'm fortunate to lead this impressive LHS faculty and staff, and I'm fortunate to represent such a fine school and district. I want to acknowledge the members of the faculty and staff with us here today. We are, there are 40 of us here today. Many of them are sitting to the right. I would ask the members of the faculty and staff, if you are here, to please stand. Thank you for serving the many roles that you did this year. Teachers, counselors, tech gurus, Zoomers, enforcers of the mask, listeners, problem solvers, and inventors of new procedures and processes. It truly has been an all, ha uh, all hands on deck this year, and I thank the faculty and staff for their amazing attitude and flexibility. And I wanna recognize five employees who are retiring either at the end of next week or at the end of this month. Social worker, Mary Ann Waslowski. <laughs> uh, 
PE and wellness teacher and department chairperson, Rita Hawker. Art teacher, and I believe the longest serving teacher in the district, Hillary Godin. Classroom paraprofessional, Yvonne Balaban. An assistant to the principal and overall organizer of everything LHS, Mrs. Susan Turcott. Thank you for your years of service and work for the families, employees, and students of LPS. We will miss you and we wish you all health and happiness. I also want to thank so many friends and partners who have helped us this year and with this event this evening, as well as with senior activities over the last few weeks. I want to thank the town of Longmeadow as a whole for so many things over the past 16 months and for their help and partnership, specifically town manager Lynn Simmons and also the Longmeadow Select Board and the Board of Health. It's been an interesting 16 months and they have been amazing partners. LCTV, I want to thank for partnering with us to record this and live stream this event. Longmeadow DPW, especially Scott Lavalley and John Duke for their painting and decoration around campus in honor of our seniors. I want to thank the Longmeadow Police Department and the Longmeadow Fire Department for their continued partnership and help on so many logistical fronts, including helping us with the planning of this event tonight. I want to thank Brian Shrebnik, a.k.a. Brian Nix, for his amazing help with the parade, the senior social, and tonight's graduation, and for his amazing generosity shown to the class and to the school, not only this year, but last year as well. Thank you, Brian. I want to acknowledge the LHS PAC and Candace Healy and Ivy Pohl in particular for their help with so many efforts for our seniors, the senior parade, the lawn signs, and the non-prom, to name a few. I want to acknowledge the LHS art and music programs for their work tonight, their work on the LHS yearbook and the beautiful music that are, we are hearing here tonight. I certainly want to acknowledge my assistants, Mr. Paul Dunkerley, a logistical guru, and Mrs. Lisa Estradios for all their behind the scenes work. And finally, to our custodians, and in particular, Mr. Lehman, and to our office staff, Mrs. Karen Omardian, Mrs. Ali Marino, Mrs. Jill Adkins, and in particular, Mrs. Turcott for their behind the scenes work to ensure that this event comes together. Thank you to everyone I mentioned and so many more who've helped us along the way. I want to acknowledge the important role of parents, guardians, and in many cases, grandparents for the love, guidance, and foundation that you have provided your children. I use the word love here today as a verb because I mean it to thank you for the countless hours of caring, feeding, clothing, protecting, preparing, disciplining, educating, supporting, and advocating that you have all done for your children. For these reasons and because of your work, when these students arrived at our doors, they were ready to learn and engage. We strive to create a school and a culture at LHS that is engaging, respectful and inclusive, challenging and dynamic, and our students, your children, are a huge part of the DNA of that school and that culture. Thank you for sending us such impressive young individuals. Most of what you will hear here tonight will be from students, whether it be speeches or musical performances. However, as principal, I'm given the chance to share some final thoughts. With that, I offer these in a heartfelt and genuine way. Number one, I hope that you have all grown in your K-12 experiences and specifically over the last four years at LHS. While you are all at varying points of mastery of your skill sets, as we all are in life, you have all grown as communicators, collaborators, and critical thinkers. And you have all grown and become more independent and accountable via your experiences and engagement at problem solving. The six skill sets that I just listed are part of our vision of the graduate that we have for you, that we hope that you grow as throughout your four years and as you approach graduation. This is in addition to all this, of the specific subject-based learning, knowledge, and skill sets that you've engaged in in the various classes that you've taken. You have learned so much here, but there's so much more to learn. You have become better versions of yourselves, but your best version is yet to happen. Life, you have, uh, Life and learning doesn't end at a graduation ceremony. It begins your next experience. 
you will continue to grow, evolve, and become better versions of yourselves. And the race is never fully run until the end of life. So remember that over the next few years as you experience both failures and successes. Also, remember that in this crazy and challenging year, you have also proven beyond any doubt that you are resilient, strong, gritty, and unstoppable. These qualities are often what gets us through challenging situations and times, and we all know that this past year has been challenging and trying on a myriad of levels. We are proud of you for this and grateful that you showed your grit by melding it with understanding, patience, kindness, and inclusivity. Secondly, we are living in some crazy times. I don't know if anyone has noticed. It's a time of change, as so many years and decades in our nation's history have been. Even though we live in a time in history where there are many great things happening, more people have more material comfort than ever, more equity than ever, more acceptance of others than at any time probably in world history, more physical safety for most people, decreased poverty, more universal education, more medical advances, longer lives, etc. We also live in a time where angst and dissatisfaction with the flaws and shortcomings of society oftentimes overshadow the many great things about our nation and our world. And there are many flaws and shortcomings left in our nation and our world. This is part of who we are as human beings and Americans. We're driven to keep moving the world forward and to get to that ideal that we eternally chase as a nation and a people. As future leaders, and there are many future leaders sitting here tonight in the senior class, my advice to you, my plea to you, is to be unapologetic about making the world better, but to do it in a way that unites others rather than divides them. Use approaches to call people in rather than call them out of a conversation. Employ tactics and efforts that seek to understand the humanity of all rather than seeking to dehumanize others that we may not understand with or agree with. Most people in this world are good, even if we don't see to eye, eye to eye with them. Dialogues are more productive than monologues, so be intentional about talking and listening to those that you agree with and you disagree with. People are much more prone to connect with our point of view if we, if we deliver it with a side of humility. By doing so, we may even realize that we have more in common with others than we had first thought. Discussion, debate, and civil uh, disagreements are hallmarks of functioning democracies. Yelling, screaming, vilifying others we disagree with are hallmarks of societies in chaos. As LHS looms in the background of this ceremony, I ask you to remember the critical thinking we have challenged you to learn and practice here. Which, which includes rejecting dogmas, dogmas, hyperbole, and rhetoric that oversimplifies issues, no matter what side of the political spectrum the messages are coming from. There is too much of it in our world today, and plainly speaking, the divisive rhetoric that we are exposed to regularly does not represent most of us in this nation and the world, who we are, and what we believe in. Use your problem-solving skills, communication, and critical thinking skills you have honed here to be a leader and not a follower in this effort. Show your independence as a thinker to look at issues from multiple sides and angles. There are complexities in the world. Most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, things are not as simple as headlines may portray them. Critical thinker, thinkers know that life is nuanced. Critical, thinkers, critical thinking differentiates true thinkers from those with a bumper sticker mentality. Don't be a bumper sticker, be a thinker. Make society better, more respectful, and more inclusive of others by inviting others into a dialogue. And lastly, make our world, your world, better by working on improving yourselves and your corner of the world first so you're an exemplar to others. Genuineness is contagious. Others will recognize it in you. As so many wise people have said throughout the ages, changing ourselves helps to change our world. Making a difference starts by looking inward and ensuring we're exemplifying the values and prioritizing what we want to grow. In short, lead the life you want others to emulate, and this will ensure that you are changing the world for the better. That's it. Those are my thoughts for you as soon-to-be LHS alumni. You are extraordinary young people. We are very proud of you and all that you have worked for and accomplished. It has been my honor to serve as your principal. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Long Middle High School, thank you and congratulations. It is my pleasure now to introduce the next speaker, the president of the class of 2021, Armin Asik.
students, parents, teachers, administration, and families. As I began thinking about what I wanted to convey in my graduation speech, I was at a loss for ideas. So I naturally sought the help of teachers and peers. The one main takeaway was to make this speech an authentic representation of our time together. So allow me to paint a picture for you. It's a bright early morning in July of 2020. If one word could describe your life at that moment, it would be uncertainty. Some of us doubted we would ever be able to step on an athletic field again to play our beloved sports. Some of us doubted whether we would be able to celebrate our senior traditions like the play and prom. Most importantly, many of us wondered whether we would be able to walk the halls of that school once more. When something is taken away from you, like in-person learning at LHS, you realize how important it is in your own life. Despite all this uncertainty, however, I believe we all developed the trait of resilience. We were flexible, understanding that we would make the best out of whatever we were given. In many ways, this beautiful ceremony is a testament to that idea. My first message to all of you is to continue to be equally flexible, resilient, and patient in all your future challenges and endeavors. This transition is one of the biggest of our young lives so far, and it was not one that we could have done alone. On behalf of the class, I would like to take this time to thank the people who raised you, your families. We thank you for bringing us into the world to leave it better than we found it. Perhaps you weren't anticipating the student loan debt this early, but time does fly. To Dr. O'Shea, the school committee, and administration, thank you for all your work in allowing us to have as normal a senior year as possible and keeping us safe and healthy. To the class of 2021, thank you for entrusting me with the privilege of being your president and my sincerest congratulations on this incredible milestone. To our class advisors, Mr. McGowan and Mrs. Reardon, thank you for putting up with us all these years and guiding us in the right direction. Finally, I would like to thank our previous advisor, Mrs. Drake, for all her work in helping us plan events and serve the class. She always brought such positive energy and enthusiasm into all of our meetings, and I know her students can attest that she brought the same traits into the classroom. As I know. They were the words of the venerable Juice World. And to quote the late Gerard Higgins, as we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. I really think that that sums up our time together perfectly. As we go on into a world of uncertainty, violence, chaos, social problems, and racial issues, we must take our experiences with us and use them to best solve these challenges. Remembering your time at LHS, all the lessons you learned, the conversations you had, the homework assignments you completed, or maybe those you never completed at all. You will be better equipped to take on the unique problems of the 21st century. Sitting before me is an eclectic group of students. Some are athletes, artists, musicians, future scholars, and maybe some SoundCloud rappers. We are a microcosm of the society into which we are entering. It is my sincerest belief that every one of you has a talent that will take you far in life. I encourage all of you to find this talent and find what you are passionate about and let it guide your future. An important component of a graduation speech is remembering the experiences we all shared. And as such, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that our senior year was turned upside down by a serious epidemic. The senioritis pandemic began in those admitted to their early decision schools and quickly spread like wildfire. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to take this time in my speech to apologize to all of the teachers who were victims of this vicious disease. Through the piles of incomplete homework assignments and randomly bubbled scantrons, you have reached the light at the end of the tunnel. I would also be remiss if I didn't include a bad metaphor in my speech, a key component of all good graduation speeches. So here it goes. 
I think that in many ways, life is a scantron. For those of you who don't know what a scantron is, it's a multiple choice answer sheet. That was a big source of anxiety for your child over the last four years. You start the test and you realize that the questions are easy. You start to bubble in answers at a rapid pace. Then, all of a sudden, the questions get harder and you begin to doubt your answers. What college am I gonna pick? What am I going to study? What impact will I have on society? You might realize that you bubbled in A three times in a row, so naturally, you're going to erase one of them. The decisions we make are so important, especially at this relatively young stage in our lives. At some points, you will certainly make the wrong ones, but you only need a 60 to pass the class, so you have room for error. While I'm not gonna say that failure is a part of life, because every graduation speaker in the entire country is probably saying that right now, I will say that failure has played a large part in shaping the person I am today, and presumably all of you as well. Failure hurts, especially bombing a test or getting cut from a team, but you have to go through it at least once in high school to set yourself up for life. And if you haven't failed yet, I strongly recommend you stick around for one more year to take any physics class at LHS. <laughs> There's a lot I won't miss about this school. The 100 meter sprints at 7.49 Monday morning, the reckless driving in the parking lot, and any paper assigned by the English department. But I think I can speak for all of us when I say that what we will miss about LHS far outweighs what we won't. The memories in those hallways and on these very athletic fields will truly last a lifetime. And for that, we are all eternally grateful. Thank you. We will now have a musical performance by Michael Daly and Armin Asik.
Thank you, Michael and Armin. We will now have a music performance by the Super Chorus Seniors. I'm so sorry. We're going to hear a little bit more from Michael and Armin. I apologize. And now, for our Super Chorus Seniors.
Beautiful music, thank you so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Superintendent O'Shea. Good afternoon to members of the class of 2021. And good afternoon to the families and friends, members of the Longmeadow School Committee, administration, faculty, and staff who are gathering with us today. So I have to begin by uh, clearing the air with the class of 2021. And I owe these uh, group of fine graduates uh, an apology, uh, a group that has sacrificed so much. You see, seniors more than most students uh, really enjoy and love snow days. Uh, because they don't have to complete them before the year uh, is, is ended. But unfortunately, I contributed to the challenges that they, they faced throughout this year by calling some virtual remote learning days. So my apologies to the class of 2021. I will, uh, I'll make up to you, to you today with a, a brief, some brief remarks. So I know that Principal Landers extended uh, deserved appreciation to town officials and LPS staff who helped uh, to make today's celebration possible. I certainly share his, his profound appreciation. However, I think we would be remiss if we didn't extend our gratitude to Principal Landers and his entire staff and administrative team. Under normal circumstances, coordinating a graduation is a test, but to do it on campus, outdoors, during a pandemic with shifting graduation guidance and uncertain weather is true next level test. So Principal Landers, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> and, and for your outstanding leadership throughout this very challenging year. Uh, class of 2021, I'm so pleased that we are able to gather as one in person, not virtually, not through a screen, we are together, face to face, as a learning community. Here to acknowledge and celebrate that you have reached a wonderful milestone, one that marks your growth and development as a person and a student. And while Symphony Hall is climate controlled and has softer chairs, I'm happy to be here on this field in the heart of this community with our Lancer pride and happiness on full display. Being here on this field leads me to one simple message for our graduates. I told you I'd keep it brief. It is a message that came to me when I realized that our graduates would be encircled today by the John Devine track. John Devine, for those of you who don't know, worked as a counselor and a track coach at LHS for 32 years. Under Coach Devine, LHS athletes earned 405 wins, 26 league championships, and six Western Mass titles. However, it wasn't winning percentages that recently prompted the school committee to name the track after Coach Devine. Instead, it was his personal attributes and his strength as a coach, counselor, and leader. Strength that came from humility, kindness, and passion. Strength that came from his commitment to service. Strength that came from the care and concern he had for his student athletes. So herein lies the one simple message. Class of 2021, as you prepare to join the wider world of higher education, work, service, or the military, I would offer that you too, like Coach Devine, will always be remembered more for the care and compassion you show others in this world than the victories and defeats you endure. Whether you choose a career in the arts, in business, in public service, or in any other field, please lead with the compassion kindness, and civility that Coach, Coach Devine embodied, and that you have already displayed during your time as members of this learning community. As many have said, the people you encounter in this life may forget what you said and did, but they will not forget how you made them feel. Indeed, class of 2021, we will remember you. We will remember you for being Lancer strong during this pandemic for demonstrating compassion and understanding and flexibility, and for most of all, for representing your families, your school, and this community with pride, talent, and dedication. 
So graduates on behalf of Center School, Blueberry Hill, Wolf Swamp Road, Glenbrook, Williams, and Longmeadow High School, I extend our sincerest congratulations. Thank you, class of 2021. It has been my pleasure to serve you as your superintendent. Congratulations and best wishes as you soon start your lives as proud graduates of Longmeadow High School. Congratulations. Thank you, Superintendent O'Shea. We will now have a musical performance by Teresa Scolari and Trina Morrow. We will never meet again in this lifetime So let me say before we part So much of me is me But what I learned from you You'll be with me Like a handprint on my heart And now whatever way our stories end I know you have rewritten my by being my friend Like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind off the sea Like a sea drawn by a sky bird in a distant world Who can say if I've been changed for the better but because I knew you because I knew you. I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done. You blame me for. Then I guess we know there's blame to share, and none of it seems to matter.
Thank you, Teresa and Trina. It is now time for the class gift and the presentation by Priyanka Maharaj Chama. Hi, um, I'm Priyanka. I've had the pleasure of being class of 2020 on Treasure these past few years. There's a senior tradition of donating some, sorry, <laughs> donating some funds every year to a cause that improves the school and community. This past year, seniors have experienced a year like no other. We've also received support from the town and LHS community like no other. This is why we wanted our senior class gift to reflect our appreciation to the community and why as a part of our gift, we are donating $500 to the Longmeadow Food Pantry. Along with this, we are also donating a more conventional gift, a banner for the high school gymnasium. We'd like to thank our fellow classmates, advisors, and LHS faculty for continuing this charitable tradition. Thank you. Thank you, Priyanka. Before I ask Maxim Tanishkin to introduce the class advisors, I do want to say Mr. Ryan Kelly, chairperson of the Long Meadow School Committee, and Superintendent O'Shea, I can verify that the seniors here today have met the graduation requirements set forth by the Longmeadow School Committee in the state of Massachusetts and are deserving of a Longmeadow High School diploma. Seniors, I now ask you to move your tassel from right to left, signaling that you are preparing to graduate. <laughs> Students, please direct your attention and after Maxim introduces our advisors, please direct your attention to the right side of your rows where, where you will see Mr. Dunkerley and one of the marshals. They will give you, they will give each row the signal to stand and move to your right to get your diploma. As you walk, please make sure to remain appropriately distanced from the next student. And as you approach the stage, when the person in front of you is picking up their diploma off from Mr. Kelly, please step onto the stage and wait. When your name is called, please step forward, pick up your diploma, step, look, look to the photographer and, and your photo will be taken. Then immediately proceed back to your chair. I now would like to introduce Maxim Tanishkin to introduce our class advisors. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our esteemed advisors, uh, Ms. Karen Reardon and Mr. Patrick McGowan. And just as a small token of our appreciation for their guidance, mentorship, support, and just putting up with us every single day, every single morning. Um, we have some flowers that class officers and I got for you guys. Thank you. Armin Andrew Asik. Santino Francis Allentuck. Jasmine Gia. Priyanka Maharaj Sharma.
Maxim Tanushkin. Kaylee Diane Ackitz. Hannah Elizabeth Adams. TJ Locolaro. Olivia Doris Anderson. Natalie Maria Antonucci. Allison Sophia Aaron. Patrick John Bajek. <laughs> Nina Michelle Barnett. Noah Murray Barnett. Megan Elizabeth Baron Penkowski. James Bernard Barrett. Marjorie Ava Black. Dimitri Henry Lee Blazy. Isabel Ruth Borgia. Brenda Lynn Bouvier. Mitchell Alexander Brecht. Wesley William Park Breed. Elizabeth June Brown. Laura Emily Burstein. Jack Marshall Byrne. Charles John Calvinese. Michael William Calvinese. Christopher Daniel Camerlin. London Paisley James Cannon Eckerly. Sabrina Rose Carteropoli. Perry Martin Carmen. Shelby Alexandra Carmen. Andrew Michael Carrier Pierce. Anthony Nicholas Casabianca. Sarah Natalie Chamberlain. Rong Chen. Abigail Molly Chiz. Preston James Cloutier. Lily Marie Corridan. Bella Elizabeth Costello. Thomas Charles Caloris. Nicholas Anzalotti Culver. Olivia Page Cunningham. Michalina Alisa Diagostino. Connie Shang Day. Yeah. 
Eleni James Daigle. Michael Thomas Daly. Tanya Tian Deng. Alexander Kuhn Davio. Brooke Elise Days. Ted Joseph DeCosmo. Tulsi Jaya Desai. Edmund Peter DeSaro. Megan Bernadette DeRochers. Ella Catherine Dietz. Win Zhao Chow Dromi. Jaina Floran Ducharme. David Al Delamy. Emily Page Dumaney. Connor Henry Dunn. Elizabeth Mary Dunn. Bridget Cecilia Duquette. Owen Robert Jerkowski. Jasmine Sharice Edie Dixon. Michael Christopher Emery. Aaron Atahan Erden. Edward Eurofaith. Antonio Pasquale Vicente. <laughs> Kathleen May Alvior Fajardo. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Fallon. Jacob Tyler Friedman. Michael Alfred French. Salvatore Fusco. Anna Sarig Garibian. Eleanor Elizabeth Geddens. Rose Isabel Isabel Gavanther. Aaron Gordon Goldberg. Trevor Michael Gagne. Miriam Elizabeth Gusainov. Emma Alexandra Griffith. Cole Philip Guidry. Aaron 
Anna Elizabeth Hadro. Christian Brooks Hammett. Carter Douglas Hanrahan. Kelsey O'Connor Harris. Thomas Alston Heap. Simon Hadley Higgins. Andrew Michael Hines. Christopher Thomas Heiser. Colin William Hoffman. <laughs> Max Noah Horowitz. Evelyn Rose Humphreys. Rebecca Marie Hundley. Sean Paul Hurley. Ella Grace Hutchins. Emily Jane Ibrahimov. Skylar Ripley Johnson. Edward H. Johnson the fourth. Elizabeth Anna Jones. Richard Porter Joseph. Henry Patrick Joyner. Caitlin Eleanor Judge. Munis Ahmed Kazi. Ian Michael Kelly. John Lawrence Kelly. Madison Eileen Corey. Grace Claire Kimball. Keely Ann Kibble. Joseph Christian Klazak. Alexander Ilya Komaisko. Carly Lane Cradiville. Oliver Glenn Kroon. Vincent John Leander. Brian Christopher Leverock. Grace Sophia Levin. Catherine Lee. 
Thomas Lee. Morgan David Lilly. Megan Nancy McDonald. Megan Lynn McKelleny. Brady Alexander McClelland. Michael Saverio Mafuz. Christopher Ryan Mahoney. Nicholas Michael Minitsis. Olivia Louise Manning. Jeremiah James Mantho. Anthony Joseph Marino. Dylan Charles Marino. John Charles Marino. Ella Angelina Matthews. Kevin Patrick McAfee Crowley. Aiden Joseph McGeary. Elizabeth Flanagan McGear. Luke Patrick McHugh. James Joseph McLaughlin. Riley Sarah McLaughlin. Madeline Messier. Audra Roslyn Miller. Maeve Marie Miller. Charles Benjamin Edward Miranda. McKenna Thompson Meyer. Cole Mitchell. Bradford Robert Macchio. Chandler David Morfitt. Jake Daniel Moyardi. Trina Olivia Morrow. Brooke N. Moss. Evan Gabriel Neald. Anthony Huang Nguyen. Luke Robert Norman. Samuel Abbott Olari. Lucas Donald Olson. Andrew Armando Ortiz. Selena Ashley Osei. Victoria Antriwa Osei Owusu. Lauren Victoria Undian. Matthew Ty Pacella. Right. 
Veronica Helen Paulson. Alyssa Deborah Peck. Ryan Thomas Paluzzo. Thomas Michael Perez. Richard Hoi Chung Pham. Carson Jeffrey Plaz. Alexandra Alba Pohl. Cecilia Sandra Jean Reed. Devin Rose Reynolds. Jacob Gould Rice. Haley Carol Rivest. Delaney Rodriguez Shaw. Yasmin Mariah Rosewell. Caitlin Ryan. Leah Catherine Sabatini. Samantha Isel Salas. Aquina Joan Sandberg. Elizabeth Catherine Sangelo. Emily Sarah Sunkachun. Teresa Gail Scolari. <laughs> Megan Yan Shea. Sean Joseph Shea. Bilal Mahmoud Sheik. Benjamin Zachary Sokoloff. Yeah. Nolan Connor Shrebnik. Samuel Morris Taxar. Daniel Robert Templeton. Stephen Joseph Tessier. Catherine Elizabeth Thomas. Cooper James Thomas. Maraid Lucia Toole. Siobhan Louisa Toole. Charles Henry Townsend. Nia Ilka Tchaikovsky. Emily Trin Tron. Melissa Tron. Vincent John Cherenghizi. Marisol Ashley Sabrina Treble. Denny Kwong Trung. Madison Elizabeth Turpin. Colin Michael Vasu. Yeah. 
Miranda Margaret Valenga. Sydney Grace Walbridge. Elizabeth Catherine Walsh. Piper Jean Weldon. Brianna Maria White. Alexander One. Ainsley Madison Yorns. Elizabeth Mary Yorns. Shirley Yuan. All right, Shirley. Gloria Zeng. Stephen Anthony Zicalella. Asher Jacob Ziv. How about a round of applause for the class of 2021? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to our ceremony tonight. I'm going to remind the seniors to make sure that you take with you your, your things, specifically your medical records. We're going to ask you, when I dismiss you, we're going to ask you to dismiss one row at a time. And everyone, as you proceed out of the field and back through the high school, and ask to return to your cars. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Make this a success. God bless the class of 2021. <laughs>